Hey, how we doing? This is Why Monkeys Don't Have Shoulder Pain, and it's a very clickbaity title. I apologize, but I feel as if I am qualified as a close relative of a monkey and someone who's been doing this pretty much every day for the last five, six, seven years. I consider it to be a foundation movement. It helps make up more complex movements and allows us to do these more complex movements more safely. It's something we're designed to do, and it's great for shoulder strength and health. Also great for grip strength, connecting our grip strength through the shoulder and through breath. Also helps decompress the spine and it's really therapeutic. Again, it's something I do every day and it's pretty much a non-negotiable at this point. This is a pull-up bar that fits in pretty much any door frame that you can start with. Uh, this is the one I've had for the past six or seven years. I've had to retape the grips a few times, but it's been holding together great. Also great for traveling with. You can also get just a straight bar at the gym. These are gymnastics rings that you can use. In worst case, you can just go find a tree outside. Just get creative. Everybody should be doing this though. So we're gonna talk about the anatomy of the shoulder a little bit. This is the shoulder blade, the scapula. It looks like a wing, and in ideal scenarios, it's gonna be floating on the rib cage. A couple different views of it right here, and we're gonna point out a few. So as you can see, there's some hooks. It looks like some hooks on the scapula. The one that's above is called the acromion process and the one in front is called the coracoid process and in between we have a ligament called the coracoacromion ligament and that arch that is formed there will actually deform when we don't get the arm overhead enough and structures underneath this ligament can start to get compressed so the subacromion versa the rotator cuff tendon can cause pain but can also cause things like frozen shoulder and that deformation can be reversed actually through Wolf's Law. Wolf's Law is a physiological principle, says that bone is living tissue and grows in response to stress. So we can apply this to the acromion arch actually. Since it deforms downwards when we don't get the arm overhead enough, once we start to get the arm overhead enough and our body can start to adapt to that, then we can actually start to restructure what our shoulder looks like. And this isn't just my theory. There is a book called Shoulder Pain, The Solution and Prevention by an MD named John Kirsch. He was on a walk with his kids and they were swinging on some monkey bars. He tried to make it across a few monkey bars and he had had shoulder pain for years. He realized he couldn't even make it past two rungs. So what he did was he applied wolf saw. He started hanging from a bar every single day and there was some discomfort at the beginning obviously because he's trying to reshape a bone in his body but he was listening to his body and applying wolf saw and what actually happened was he prevented himself from getting a surgery that actually cuts out part of the acromion and would try to recreate what your body can do naturally, which is restructure itself and adapt. I shared some images from his book. It, this is a CT scan of somebody recreating a hang position. Really cool stuff, check it out. As far as how to get started, don't get too caught up in specifics, but palms forward would probably be the most tolerable for most people starting. Uh, you should be able to tolerate all angles, so palms facing each other. Uh, you can work up to this. There's also some progressions, but just stick to the two-arm dead hang. Uh, that, that's the one in, in Dr. Kirsch's book with the palms facing forward. That's how I'd recommend starting. You could also put your feet on the ground or on a step ladder just to take some of the weight off or, uh, initially because it might be difficult to get started. To actually start, everything that I said earlier, making sure you have somewhere safe to hang, at the beginning, you're just going to be shooting for 30 seconds three times a week. It's going to be a little bit difficult and you're going to have to push through some, some discomfort, but above all, listen to your body. Eventually, you're going to be working up to five to seven minutes a day. You're going to find that you love it. It's something that everybody should be doing. We all did it as kids. If you play a sport, do it. If you're a child, do it. If you're an adult, do it. If you have a pulse, do it. Figure out a way to do it. Check out Dr. Kirsch's book. Big shout out to Essential Anatomy 5 for some of the images in this. Also a big shout out to my first patient ever, Simon. He makes pretty sick beats on his iPhone. He's actually uh, making music on the guitar now. So I don't know, maybe I'll get that for a track next time, but appreciate you, buddy. Everybody out there, I know that was a lot to cover, so I can do another video. Happy to answer any questions you have in the comments, but like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, stay sweet.